We are living through a climate change emergency. Urgent and unprecedented action is needed. To protect society and restore our environment, we must move faster, act now, and ask hard questions about what we do and how we do it. We can all play our part to take action at home and at work. At the Environment Agency, we are committed to reducing our carbon emissions to at least net zero by 2030. We are using the Carbon Standard for Infrastructure, PAS 2080, to guide our planning. We will aim to balance the carbon emissions we produce with those we take out of the atmosphere by using natural or engineered solutions. Our assets also reduce the carbon emissions caused by flooding, for example the damage to homes, disruption to critical infrastructure or the need for pumps. Every one of us has an active role to play within the asset management community to help us achieve the net zero target and bring about this transformational change. Over a 10-year baseline period to 2019, 46% of environment agency emissions came from construction of assets and pumping activity accounted for one-third of direct emissions. This means everyone in planning, design, construction, maintenance, operations and decommissioning can take actions which will make a big difference. Work has begun, but we need to do much more. Achieving net zero will mean wholesale changes to the way we think about and work with assets across the organisation. The earlier we start to think about carbon, the more opportunity we have to avoid it. So ask questions and challenge convention. Across the whole life cycle, take actions to innovate, pilot new approaches and share your experience and expertise so we can feed successes into the next phase of business as usual. This will help us realise our ambition and leave the environment in a better place. In the planning stages, natural flood management approaches to reduce flooding should always be considered and implemented where possible. We will work upstream with landowners to slow the flow of water through tree planting and other interventions. If new construction is required, the carbon reduction will be planned across the whole of that asset's lifetime with actions identified in design, construction, operation, maintenance and decommissioning. There are now many new materials and techniques available to help reduce carbon during construction. Using recycled aggregates or precast units are just some tried and now accepted options that have become business as usual. Innovative solutions and techniques such as low carbon concrete and 3D printing are now more accessible and pilots are trialling their effectiveness. At Power Heavy Sites, we are seeking new ways to generate more green energy than the site consumes by installing wind turbines, solar panels and other renewables to enable our carbon consumption to be reduced. We are now focusing on a more sustainable, whole-life approach to asset management, making the right intervention at the right time in an asset's life, so we become more efficient, cost-effective and sustainable. Every one of us has a role to play, and there are specialist tools, case studies and workshops available to enable innovation. Be part of the transformational change to build a net zero community which supports this mission and shares best practice so the Environment Agency can reach the target of net zero carbon before 2030.